guys what's up it's em welcome back or welcome to my channel today i'm going to be filming a what's my pencil case video so recently on one of my videos i got a request to do a um stationary video like what i use to take my notes and what's in my pencil pouch is just pretty much what i use to take my notes most of the time i might um supplement with some extra supplies sometimes but this is what i use the most often so I have the Lee Hit Lab pencil case and it's obviously in the color black. And so starting off with the first front um, two pockets, I have a chapstick. This is the chapstick brand Candy Cane Chapstick. It's my favorite chapstick. I love peppermint stuff, so this is right up my alley. And I just have some sticky notes right there. Sometimes I'll also keep my whiteout in this compartment. It really just depends. This time I have it inside, which you will see later. So the pencil pouch unzips like this and opens up like a book. So in the first little compartment, I first have my highlighters on the left-hand side. Also, excuse my nails. They look really, really tragic right now. I'm sorry, I'll try to do them later. But I have six mild liners um, here. So the mild liners are basically double-ended highlighters. There's a chisel tip and a bullet nib. And these are super popular in the study community. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen them before. And this one that kind of stands out is the Staples Hype or Hype L highlighter. And it's basically just in your classic neon bright fluorescent yellow and I really like using that to mark my music in band I think the color is just super eye-catching and these staples highlighters are super bright and inky which is why I really really like them here I have my Muji pens these are in the 0.05 version and they just look like this and as you can see I've used up quite a few of them. Actually, I don't know if you can. This is a different um, 0.05 Muji black pen because I've used up my other one and the one that's missing from here, actually two are missing. I'm missing the darker blue and the light green. I finished up the lighter blue but I lost my light green unfortunately which is really really sad but as you can tell this um, new one that, whoops, that I've um, supplanted is that the word that I've just added is um, almost running out as well and here I have a Pentel Energel pen in 0 0.5 these are super great I highly recommend them and I use these for notes the most since the ink is super like fast drying and you can highlight just like almost immediately definitely wait a few seconds but yeah, it dries super fast. So moving on to the next section, I have my pencil leads here. So here I have some Papermate 0.7 HB lead. And the other lead that I have is the Ain Stein lead in the B grade. I actually really like this lead. I think that the B grade makes writing a lot smoother and the lead is a little bit darker and I really really enjoy that. It does smudge a little bit more easily but a lot less easily than like darker grades like 2B and 3B so I really like that. And I have the HB lead just in case I'm taking like a Scantron test because you obviously need HB lead for that. So I never use any of my 0.5 mechanical pencils on those tests mainly because I don't want anything to happen. So here I have some purple post-its and some paper clips. And here I just have this small eraser. It says it's for 4B, but I mean you can erase anything with it. And it has Miffy on it, which is super cute, and it works. It's an eraser, and I like how small it is. Here I have this ruler. It's kind of broken. It used to have a attachment to it that fell off, and there's another attachment there as well, but it also fell off. And the writing's kind of faded, so I primarily just use it to draw straight lines with in my notes or if I'm drawing a diagram. So I'll put these off to the side. Here I have an Office Depot whiteout. 
I'm not really picky with which whiteout I use as long as it's tape and it doesn't roll weirdly, I'm fine. Here I have this 0.04 friction point pen. I didn't know that friction made such fine point pens and I really like them, so I'm really glad I got this. Next, I have three mechanical pencils. I don't use pencils as much as I use pens, so that's why I don't have as many. Sometimes I'll carry just one of them or two of them. And this one is the Pilot Fure Fure Corone pencil. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. And it has this really cute print and it's a shaker pencil. So I think that's pretty cool. The next one is the Uni Kurutoga pencil. And this one has that like lead turning mechanism. I don't like it as much. I don't really think that the lead turning mechanism is really beneficial to me. In fact, sometimes it makes writing weirder but I still like the pencil a lot. And here's just one of the basic Bic 0.7 HB pencils. It, you know, I think everyone's used these at one point. I have another pencil Energel pen. Usually I'll carry two maybe. Um, I don't know why this one's in there. Here I have the Pilot G2.38 pens and I really like these. They're really smooth and they work really well, and as you can see, I've used a lot of this ink. This is the Pentel Fude Touch Brush Pen, I believe, and it just looks like this. I hope it's focusing, but I use this for my headers on my notes sometimes if I'm feeling like a little extra. And here I have another P Pentel Energel, and it's not in 0.5, it's in the 0.5 body, but it is actually 0.7. And this is the X version, so it has a different body um, than this one. And I think these are a little less expensive, so if you want to try out the Energels, but you think that the normal ones are a bit expensive, maybe try these, they're a little cheaper. And I actually think that the body is more comfortable to hold. I think they're about the same, so I don't really know why, but yeah, it's really, really nice. And I love the 0.7 ones, actually. They're super smooth to write with, and I think that it makes writing faster almost for me, so I highly recommend this. Next I have two Prismacolor colored pencils in here. I take drawing, so these are really handy. Here I have the Pilot G2 0.7 metallic pen in the sky blue color, and it's really, really gorgeous. I highly recommend it. Um, this is the Uniball Signo DX 0.38 pen, and I love this pen. It smudges a lot when you highlight, so definitely use a different pen if you're planning on highlighting immediately or relatively soon after writing. But this pen is so smooth and the ink I believe is archival quality, so if you're planning on writing in like a bullet journal or like a journal or just something you want to last, definitely recommend this pen. It's super great. Here I have the Zebra Sarasa pen, but not really since it has an Energel body. Can you tell that I'm kind of obsessed with the Energel pens? Um, I got this idea from Jasmine, also known as Study Quill, here on YouTube. She does this um, sort of like setup with her pens, and I really like it, and I thought it was an ingenious idea. So I kind of stole that idea, but thank you, Jasmine. And here is the Pilot Juice 0.38 pen. Um, it's really nice. It kind of railroads though, and there's a weird kind of like rattly feeling almost with these pens, but it's not enough to really bother me, and the ink is super smooth. It flows really nicely, and I really like the clip mechanism, and yeah. So that is pretty much it for my pencil pouch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and definitely leave your suggestions for future videos in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.